Mama Saddam plucks rhythmically at each string on her loom, intertwining multicolored pieces of fabric. Although it's labor intensive, Saddam is guaranteed about $40 when she sells this rug. When we take these rugs to market, we hope people appreciate our hard work by buying a homemade Nigerian product because they're really beautiful. Formed in 2010, the Village Weavers Project teaches women like Saddam to turn recycled fabric into vibrant arts and crafts. The organization recognizes the low literacy levels among many women in rural communities. Often girls are forced into early marriage and lack the basic education or skills to sustain themselves. It was to help and empower the women because, you know, instead of giving people money, every time to take care of themselves is better you teach them a skill. On average, trainees spend three weeks learning how to weave before they're able to work independently. 30 women in this community have come together to perfect their skills in weaving and it's hoped that this particular project will be multiplied across the country with the aim of improving nutrition within homes and increase the income of women. The women say access to finance and resources are the biggest obstacle in growing their business. Another challenge is competing with international imports. The group is planning to purchase additional looms in order to produce more rugs. We're looking for more markets to display our crafts. We need to increase our production and our sales, and we think it's possible. Although the women must balance their duties at home with the long hours spent weaving, they're determined to support their families and lift themselves out of poverty. Sophia Dango, CGTN, Asokoro, Nigeria.